All right, we were at uh, Oprah, 55 years old today. 55. Just finding an excuse because Oprah's talking about uh, Kate Winslet's uh, boobs and gets really into it. You want to hear this? You think she uh, goes that way? <laughs> uh, let's, you know. I'm going to take a guess. Let's just kind of. Take a guess on that one? Let's just make believe, let's, let's just make believe like the rest of America, please. All righty. We got a good friend over there. We don't want to All right. Good, we don't want to push. Put him in a bad spot. Uh, ah. Oprah talking about Kate Winslet's uh, boobs. Here it is. And then Immortal. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> oh, oops, wrong tape. Wow, that sounds <laughs> like... Oops. Um, oops. I didn't mean to play that. That sounds like something oh, a little wow, older. That's, yeah, that's wait weird. Wait a minute. Um, what was that? that? Wait a minute. Wait I, I think I have to at least uh, hear that yeah. part again. What are you talking about? I, got the I have Oprah to hear the beginning here. of that clip one more time, please. Oh, no. Just the beginning part oh, of it again. No, what is it? What are you talking about? Jimmy? I have to. It, it, oh, it, it, there was no. a miscue. No, no, I got but, the actual Oprah audio now for everybody. But I think that. Oh, no. I think that. I can't be blindsided like that. Oh, no. What is it? What I is just it? want to hear that part. Is it, a, is it yet another horrific bit that we've done from the past? What are you talking about? I got the Oprah audio. That I know, but I, I don't know. No, no, no. I don't know what Dillette's doing today. The, the mistake you know, in Dillette, let me hear that again because I think <laughs> just the beginning of it again. I, I, I'm not 100% sure what that was. <laughs> oh, no. Is this another one of our old? And then Immortal. Good morning. Good morning to you. Ah, ah, ah. Good morning. Ah, ah. <laughs> Feels like we were just on the radio. We were. I'm getting. Oh wow! Shut up! Oh wow! Shut up! What um? What wah, wah, was that about? <laughs> they were so much better than AF. <laughs> you guys got to eat all you miss, you newbies. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold they're on. a shell of their former <laughs> self. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh my blind god! Blind CC, blind CC, blind CC. Wait. Oh. What was that about? Uh, yeah. What was everybody well, making that noise for? In between for? shows, Iraq might have told me, and I certainly did not tell Anthony because this really bothers him. Oh, I, I guess if we, I get and the if we cringy discussed this ahead chills. of time, we certainly wouldn't be playing this. Oh, he would talk me out of it. I get the douchey chills. But Iraq, I guess uh, an old, old listener uh, gave him some VHS tapes. The guy used to record our show on VHS tapes. Ah, great. Well, and... we need more old O and A shows. <laughs> And E Rock, where is he? I'd love to hear some of that. I'm trying to get rid of this. E Rock comes like, in. Like Lucas is trying to get rid of the Christmas special. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of any <laughs> inkling that our yeah. AF tapes ever existed. E Rock, what's that? Um, somebody was nice enough to send me over. Nice enough, yeah, of course. Over four hours of material. <laughs> oh, fuck. But. It's already uh, cut down, so the music and everything else is gone from it. So Thank this God. could be days and days of material on these four hours. <laughs> so wait, now, Iraq. So it's not it, music. It's four hours of like fucking. It's it's nonstop oh, uh, talk God. breaks. Is this their um, their TV show? Uh, no, no, this no. is um, their. Oh, I still used show. to just plug the audio into a VHS tape yeah. and run it on slow okay. speed, so he could get the whole show on one sure. tape yeah. when he was uh, away. One and show, you get a whole month. I, I wasn't. You only were allowed to talk. Well, you were allowed to talk maybe ten minutes a, an hour. Yeah. If that. So what was that? Were we just on the radio. I couldn't make it. Well, uh, I wasn't. Actually, this is our Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, show. I wasn't aware you guys oh. did Saturday mornings. Yeah, we were forced to do Saturdays. We were forced to do six days a week. And then during the off ratings books, which was the um, winter book and the summer. summer book, we were able to do every other Saturday. Which we've was had so off. nice of Bruce. Yes, good old Thank Brucey. You, Bruce. Uh, we had to work six days a week. I know people out there, but when when you're doing radio and you're carrying the fucking station, uh, we didn't know we'd be doing Saturdays. And the morning guy gets every weekend off, and he's still rotting in Worcester. Yeah. But you know. But uh, yeah, the, well, the the sounds you were hearing, by the way, were bastardized versions of our names that had happened over the years. It had started out, hey, oh, years. we were only working together hey, like Ant. a year at this point. All right. <laughs> Over the weeks. Over the weeks, we had bastardized our names. You know how, like, if you're hanging out and, and you say something a lot, it sort of takes on a different sound after a while. So uh, Opie just turned into, ah, like, it was like, hey, ah, ah, 
back, back. And Anthony was like, back, back, back. And uh, that was... Is explaining it worse? No. Uh, making it worse? It's um... actually helping a little bit. So I, don't know, I, would, I don't know where that comes from. I would hear like op act, and I'd be like, "Where did? Why did you guys say that?" I, yes. so this is interesting to actually hear the bit. I all right, gap, gap. I I ended up <laughs> I ended up uh, naming my my corporation after that. You certainly did. And, and when I have to tell people, well, what's the name of your company? I'm like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> like how do you spell that? Bah, 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 bah. That's true. My company's named yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to look at it to tell you how it, it's even spelled. <laughs> <laughs> Drives everyone nuts out there. What the fuck is what he doing? What does this mean? Fine. Why couldn't you get an easy name? Uh, yes, uh, anything else to add to this? Uh, um, yeah, Anthony is recovering from the Rush concert he went to the previous night. Oh, I went to Rush. And you're going again that Saturday night as well. Yeah. I don't even fucking remember going to see Rush. I saw Rush. Up there, I mean. Let, let oh, me I think. I know. Wow. Your brother's there with you, too. What? He came up from New York to go to the Rush show. With it's you. a total fucking amnesia. I have no recollection. It's called Merciful Amnesia. Is it? Yeah, thanks. Well, we can remind you. We uh, have a, a blackout. <laughs> Why are we playing this particular segment? I see you have five sure. in front of me. That ain't happening. Okay, well, for this particular cut, you might have been promoting one of your many uh, music giveaway weekends. This was a Soundgarden giveaway weekend. <laughs> Douche, uh, cheer. Or we're giving away prize packs? Um, prize backpacks. What? Yeah. <laughs> and, and promoting, ah. and promoting, um, your next episode of, uh, Real Rock TV. Well, cool. wow, we're big TV stars. Yeah. Can't, uh, wait to see what was on that one. And then Immortal. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, op, op. <laughs> Feels like we were just on the radio. We were. I'm getting sick of looking at your face. Trust me, the uh, feeling is mutual. Wow, it started way back then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <Wow. laughs> I thought that was I never a, new. I thought that was a recent thing. I thought it was relatively new. <laughs> no kidding. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Didn't realize how long we've hated each way other. To, way to hang in there. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> We're both enabling assholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Right. Trust me, the uh, feeling is mutual, all right? Beth Hartpan, immortal. I, I Beth got to Hart about. What? Beth Hartpan, immortal. Oh, really? Yeah, remember her? No. Yeah, she came in with the yeah. smallest boobs ever. I oh, remember. Yeah. You, you explain about her coming up. Oh, thanks, oh, Iraq. Iraq. <laughs> Look at how fucking happy this shithead Iraq is, just laughing at this. We I love it. We give him hundreds of hours of abuse, and Iraq gets every and this once is... in a while to get to do a little. Yeah, quick you gotta little, give him quick little. Yeah, you gotta give him. Funny, good. It's too bad part. What? She was the reason we got banned from uh, WABU with our TV show. Everyone knows. Sure. Oh my God, I'm not referencing the bra bombing, am I? No. Oh, is this pre-bra bombing? I don't know. No, actually. I, I, I remember know. this. You this do? was about the nipples. Yeah. Oh, the nips. Yeah. Yeah, but her... She, all right. She had right. flat nothing. Horrendous. I mean, nothing was there. It was she like was, egg... Uh, like fried eggs. I guess we explain. If not, I'll we'll mm -hmm. explain further. The reason we got banned right. from uh, WABU with our TV show, everyone knows her that. nipple. Her nipple, right. right. Well, you know what's on this week's TV show? Plenty of nipple. <laughs> Plenty of nipple. And this is hot nipple. Not that flapjack-looking Beth Hart nipple. <laughs> oh, good. Put it right out of the gate today. Dudes and girls, man, I'm telling you, you got to check out the... What did I just say? I, uh, for a minute there, this what had to be a mistake. This had to be a mistake. What did I say? Here what, goes, what? Oh, no. What? No, 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 there's a skip. What? Oh. There was a skip in the CD. Yeah, that. you got to replay it. Because oh, it God. sounded oh, like you went, so dudes and girls... I didn't say dudes and girls. No, I you couldn't have. No, I don't think so. You absolutely oh couldn't have. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank God it covered up my douchey moment where I went right out of the gate today. It's almost like he, he got it. Don't get us started. He, he, he got it. He got it. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> you don't want to get on our bad uh, side. Uh, no. <laughs> Put right out of the gate today. Dudes and girls, man, I'm telling you, you got to check out the Real Rock TV show tonight at midnight on WUNI. You are... <laughs> Did I do every break smiling? <laughs> you are a happy man. Ugh. Halloween gonna, party. You are going to see things that have never been on Boston TV before. No, no, no. You know, I was watching a, a tape of uh, one of the shows last night. Right. And they're saying the Real Rock TV logo that's in the corner of the screen. Yeah. You, know, you watch the TV show. They're going to use that. 
to try to blank out boobs. Dude, I saw the tape of... It's see-through. Uh, right, I saw the tape of uh, tonight's show already, and, and you can see right through the logo that we are attempting to cover up the What's boob What's the music with? playing? <laughs> they, don't even oh. ask, Jimmy. It was something we never agreed with. That was a music bed that had to be played under everything we said because the uh, on AF, the, the rock never stopped. See, the, the, we only stopped the rock twice an hour is what they said for commercials. And there was no music bed under the commercials. So even though we took breaks, people would say, hey, dude, you're taking breaks, so the rock stops more than twice an hour. But technically, no, it didn't. That's right. Because the music was playing underneath That's what right. we were saying. We're still so rocking. We're rocking. So the rock should have been taken uh, with a, a very firm hand and bludgeoned. Over our head, just bludgeon us with the rock. Yeah, but when you say things like dudes and girls, that's like a rock and roll attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's face, the glee, the glee in it. Dude, I just caught my friend saying dudes and girls. <laughs> dudes and girls. <laughs> Why would you say <laughs> dudes and girls. It, the, the dudes and girls, I'm just gonna, you know, guys and girls. Yeah, I, I'm going to have a whole line of T-shirts that are coming out soon with all my uh, yeah, that's funny. All my catchphrases that never caught on. I'm Ladies gonna, and gonna, males. I'm going to have dudes and girls. What was the other one? Brother man. Chicks and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, right. Mother hucker. Mother hucker. Mother hucker. Mother hucker T-shirts coming soon. Yeah, brother yeah. man, mother hucker. Brother man. Brother man, and brother man. And girls. <laughs> More nipple than a pregnant pig. I swear to God. Hey, that would be a good commercial for the TV show tonight, huh? Yeah. All right. Hey, it's a Soundgarden weekend. We'll That's a Soundgarden weekend. <laughs> Everyone else. All right. I was being fucking sarcastic right there. Yes, you were. I was goofing on the Soundgarden weekend. Yeah. Absolutely. Don't, don't for a second think I was being serious. Yeah. When that was happening. Sure. And everyone else is doing a black party weekend. We got a Soundgarden weekend. And we're giving away these Soundgarden backpacks that, that are really, really cool. These oh, things are, are collector's items. Big time. There's like a Soundgarden hacky sack in there and all sorts of stuff. So Soundgarden bong? Soundgarden bong. <laughs> How much did you need to be light? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh. Ugh. Like me, like me, like me, like me, like me. Please like me, like me. All happy, and smiling, and laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. No, I don't think so. So this is what's going to happen. We're going to be playing a Soundgarden song sometime this hour. As soon as you hear that song, be the seventh caller, and you will pick up the backpack and the pair of tickets to see the boys, all right? Easy enough. It's Nine Inch Nails. I wish the the bit. Nine Inch Nails being driven through our skulls. I've never been a big Nine Inch Nails fan. Like that. <laughs> uh, you guys get the point. So uh, there I you want to hear a little more. I'm actually watching so, me. This is not that bad. It's just fucking you guys are just young and shattering. Uh, all I know is E-Rock labeled the next track a lost Anthony impression. Oh, oh God! No, why the <laughs> fuck? You know something? Is it the George Burns that I like so much? <laughs> well, we can only hope, Jimmy. Uh, are you tapping out. It's it. Can can I please have some context on the year? What year is it? I don't know. It's got to be. Oh, I can tell you the year. We were only up there three years. I would say ninety-seven, ninety-five through ninety-eight. Oh. So ninety. Ah. Yeah, ninety. Cut it through the 96, middle. Probably ninety-six, ninety-seven. Probably 96, 97. So so please take this in the context in which. <laughs> I, I was brand new to radio. None of that shit helps, bro. I, I, I know. I, I'm trying so hard to defend myself. I haven't even heard this. I don't know what it is. But it is something that could be brought back today. <laughs> Shut up. Fucking <laughs> like <an> E-Rock. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right. I got to hide. I got to do my hiding from where I, right. I cover my face and just peek out of my eyes. All right, Will yeah. Ant be proud of this one? Oh, Shut yeah. up! <laughs> it got him to where he is today. Okay, no, cool. No. Oh. OJ. No. Hmm. Uh -huh. The only station that really rocks a cool song from Dishwala. That's Charlie <laughs> Brown. <laughs> there's, there's never anything cool about this wall. Dude, it's a cool song from this wall. It's Charlie be... Brown's what? I don't even remember it. Mother, mother or something? Wow. <laughs> I'm listening to a couple of dishbaggers. <laughs> wow. So I want to hear Anthony's impression. Which was the lost impression? Oh. I wonder if I've ever heard him do it. 
the only station that really rocks a cool song from Dishwala. That's Charlie Brown's parents. It's Open Anthony on a Soundgarden weekend. We're going to be uh, playing. <laughs> I'm being Charlie Brown's parents. Go ahead. You can do whatever you want. No, that was Charlie Brown's teacher. Bro. It was any adult in Charlie Brown. Are you sure his parents talk like that, too? Every adult did. I thought it was just the teacher, man. You see they use uh, penis characters in the MetLife insurance yeah. commercials? Right. Can you call them up? Uh, yeah, I had an accident. <laughs> what do you mean I'm screwed? <laughs> I sent in my payment. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, a little wacky bit for a Saturday morning. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a freebie. We just throw it out and see what sticks against the wall. <laughs> it's too early for whistles and horns. Oh, no. Gee. <laughs> okay. All right, look. I got to I got to go. I can't I, hear go you. I'm going to leave. Oof. Shut up, obese primate. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we we gave him more than enough today. Holy fuck, right? am I just a little more, dude? You got hours of stuff. Look at look at this stuff coming in. Oh my god, were they really this bad? Who hired you guys again? Uh, Jesus, Aunt, the hairs on the bottom of my bag are standing up. <laughs> Uh, I would change the channel so fast. Waka waka. It, it's just. Look, my microphone is trying to commit suicide. Look. <laughs> I didn't even do that. My microphone would stand up today. <laughs> Holy shit. One more? Oh, yeah. We'll give you one more, Jimmy. That's it. Five? Go right to, go right to the bottom there if you're going to do one more. What was four all about? Uh, I'm glad I, I didn't I know Owen A back then. Anthony and the Silver Bullet. Oh, the, uh, Anthony shares a little. Uh, he lets us into his life when he goes home, <laughs> uh, waiting for a plumber, and um, some awkwardness happens. Oh, is wow. it worth playing? Is four better than five? I yeah. think five's better than four, but uh, Iraq knows. Let's if, go to five. If I wasn't <laughs> me, I would want to hear it. There might. When are you gonna do your song, man? Uh, another man for everybody. Man, what? Dude, bro. Wait, wait. Man, when am dude, I going to do my song? <laughs> is this a song? <laughs> this is an original parody, but... Holy shit. Okay, now nah, I got to leave. I'm getting hot. <laughs> Why? Like, I'm getting from complete and utter embarrassment, <laughs> oh. Jimmy. Oh, no. Well, maybe we should do track four, then, with the plumber and the, uh, a vibrator that you happen to bring home. Why? What's the... What's... Oh. oh, is that the one that was left on the table? Mm-hmm. An embarrassing moment yesterday, man. You did? Uh, yeah, and it's because of one of our faithful listeners that actually sent us uh, a gift. Oh, uh, the, the silver bullets. Yeah, some, somebody was very nice. We get a lot of gifts here on the Opie and Anthony show, and we appreciate them. It, it's a, a silver bullet we got from some, some girl sent it. Yeah, it's basically a, a tiny little vibrator that you stick in places. Yeah, it looks like a little silver egg, yeah. and it's connected to a remote control, and it vibrates like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know where you're supposed to put it or what the hell you're supposed to do with it, but I ain't using it. Okay. So, so I bring it home the other night after uh, after we're done here like everything else and throw it on the kitchen table with all my other junk and I left it there <laughs> the next day a couple of burly plumbers come over to snake my bathtub <laughs> I let him in and they look at the table and then walk into the bathroom to, to snake oh it's crazy it's insane it's like a three's company episode already <laughs> <laughs> what madness you lived with <laughs> So the plumbers may have seen this little silver egg that you with a wire a uh, on the table right. and thought, what? Uh, I'm sticking it in my asshole? They were burly. They were burly. Well, oh. don't ruin the story. Why oh. does it get better? Oh, is that oh. what I say? It yeah. could only. Fuck. And then walk so into the bathroom to, to snake the drain. So now you're now I'm thinking, geez, now they see this. They think I'm sticking this thing where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Why would I have a merry little? Where, yeah. <laughs> I, want, I want to hear Aunt Anthony's uh, in, in description of what his asshole is. <laughs> Stick that where the sun don't shine, you. So Why? it's the Opie and Mae West show. <laughs> <laughs> also, why would they think um, I'm using it? And not your wife? Yeah. 
I don't know. They were, they were oh, was probably. that the portion of our lives on the radio where we made believe we didn't have girlfriends? Yeah. Yeah, because that made us look even and it was, cooler. And it was pretty much because, well, we want our core listeners to think like we're not settled down or we're wild guys. Right. But meanwhile, it was just, please give me something else to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the, the official story was, you know, the guys at the station don't want us to say we're married because they want us, the, the audience to think we're just, you know, young guys fucking hanging out, going to parties. And meanwhile, it was like, I didn't want people to think I was married because I wanted to oh, foot? suck face with Kahlua girl. Foot! Oh, hey, yes! One of uh, Ant's old band uh, members. Foot. Hey, Foot! We haven't heard from you in a while. That, bit. that, that, that life bit you stole from me. Bit court! Bit court! No, but the thing is, I was listening to you do the, the imitation, right? I'm like, oh, God, I used to do this horrible bit when I was starting to do stand-up. That's the freaking bit! <laughs> yeah, I remember when I did it, I'm like, Oh shit! I'm stealing ah, foot spit. Funny. Not, yeah, don't worry. I'm not using it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you ah, call shit. and tell everyone that. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I heard the show yesterday. I look lovely in a dress. Yes, uh, when you were uh, playing with a rot gut in uh, uh, your mom's dress, it was gorgeous. Of course. That is Very funny. sexy. You got to get your ass in here, uh, footy. Uh, I'll be in a couple of weeks. All right, man. Good. Hey, a quick plug. Uh, if anybody would like to come and see the new material I have, I will be at Wisecrackers Scranton tomorrow and Saturday. So if you're at Scranton, get your ass on down there. Uh, Wisecrackers and Scranton. Joseph Curry, my good friend, Plankfoot. That is right. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, Bye, Bye, footy. Bye. Bye-bye. It's my pal. I'm sticking this thing where the sun don't shine <laughs> and having a merry little time with it and leaving it on the kitchen table. You should have gave it to him to snake out your... Uh... <laughs> it probably would have worked. Up. Yeah. It probably would have yeah. worked. And then I'm thinking, you know, you go through this thing where it's what like, well, I did thinking? they see it? Right. Now, if they saw it and I move it, it's going to look like, ah, see, he hit it. Ah, he's, he's doing something with that and then he felt he had to move it. But if they didn't see it, now on the way out, they might see it. Right. So what do you do? Yeah. So I opted for the toss something on top of it thing. Like, like a natural toss, like maybe you just, right. you just like happen my... to throw your Rolling Stone magazine over it yeah. after you read it or something. Yeah, exactly. It so wasn't going to be through... dignity. I was plumb out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? You, you, they thought you might be having a merry old time with it. A merry old time, putting it where the sun don't shine. Yeah. Throwing your Rolling Stone magazine because, you know, we were cool us. guys. And, of course, we'd have... Rolling Stone at our house. I know when we were banging chicks because we're single, man. Fucking we're dudes the, and girls. We're living the rock star life. Oh, the fucking hints. If you you would have been cooler if you said, "Hey, just pretend you you can throw your hints from Heloise article over it." <laughs> <laughs> well, how did we get ratings with these shit? Uh, I, we were I, killing. I, I, I yeah. we killed. Yeah. Exactly. So I threw something in front of it, kind of over it. That's but funny. I don't know. I think they left there thinking I was uh, some kind of uh, wrangler. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. Hey, do they have fag? Butt? <laughs> I wasn't going to start looking at their butts after what they saw on the table. <laughs> Please. Get him away from me, Artie. He might try to do something with the snake. <laughs> well, how could you not laugh? I'm doing an impression uh, you know, of sure. a plumber. Sure. Fucking A. I, I, when are you going to do your song, man? Oh, oh I don't know. I want to do it like any time. Oh, Is Joe no. ready? ready? Joe's ready to Joe go. Joe doesn't look ready. I can't do this to Anthony. I'm Why? Sorry. What, I'd like what, to hear the uh, song. You know, Jimmy, we it might actually be good. Jimmy, no, we can't Fucking do electric that. shock no, OJ holds no, up. No. <laughs> Shut up. Besides, I'm No, Jimmy. I'm dead serious. Electric you shock know, OJ. I wish you were dead and not serious. For, just dead. But for an older parody, <laughs> I, it holds up. It doesn't, no, it doesn't suck. I can't allow this. It's not as good as what you do now, but it's not terrible. can't allow this. Anthony has suffered enough today. I don't think he has. All right, I think you're right. If you're just tuning in, Anthony's brother Joe is here from New York. We're going to rush tonight and they're going oh, to rush God. tonight make sure you're wearing your waf t-shirt if you are going oh my god why oh, god. why do they have to wear their shirt well, you, you explain why? right really? after it you, oh do i yeah. great great you are great with the uh, hawk and everything oh, on a, every line boy uh, they, there was I'm a, a pile man. of liners in front of you and you hit every single one of them i'm a company man can i play guess the next line yeah wear your waf t-shirts because mm -hmm. We should both be killed. <laughs> We're going to rush tonight. Make sure you're wearing hold on, your hold WAF t-shirt if you... I bet it's a ticket upgrade 
if we see you Ugh. with an AAF shirt and you're like you got a shitty seat, we'll give you like a better ticket. Yeah, you get to sit on Getty Lee's septum. All right, let, <laughs> we'll do your AAF T-shirt if you are going to rush because we are mm -hmm. upgrading someone to the front row. <laughs> there it is. Wow, of course, you got it. <laughs> you got to do that. Oh shit! Because we're the cool station. Oh, <laughs> Look how cool we are. Look oh, what we do for you. Oh, oh, oh. But Joe brought his guitar. This is completely off the cuff. Uh, Anthony and Joe. A little I Frank Sinatra. little Frank Sinatra song parody. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, put the down. mic Hold down on. right by the guitar. Oh, oh no. <laughs> sounds oh. like Frank. Was Frank there? Shut it, Jimmy. Shut it. Why? Sound like Frank. Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. I can't. Okay, right now, I just want to describe to the listener. I have the microphone on the console. My head is in my hands. The brim of my hat is um, blocking my view from everybody because I cannot look yes. at anybody. That's right. All right, because I'm too embarrassed. You should be giving a press conference and pulling something out of a manila envelope. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be in front of people saying, I am a gay American. <laughs> I'd rather be there with a blonde wig listening to you than this. <laughs> Oh, Are you hiding? Terrible. All right, I, hiding. I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Let her rip. Go ahead. Go All ahead. Right. I got. I'm. I'm brave. I can take can it. Can I hear the Frank voice? I, I actually yeah. thought that was him. I thought he popped in. I just took a picture of Anthony hiding because he can't look at anyone in the room as we play this material. If I go like face. this, is it like you mixed can martial arts? Can I just go like this? And, you can. And the ref steps in. You you certainly can. Oh fuck. I'm gonna send all. I'm gonna send this pic oh to my all my followers on Twitter, Anthony. You oh. hiding from the shame. <laughs> Another one that's. If you're on Twitter, oh, OP no. Radio is my name, and I'm sending all my followers a pic of it right now. All right, here it is. <sighs> yeah, we should go back because we were talking. All right, you're right. Good no, point. Iraq e e makes thanks, a good e point. Go back to what the buffet, you fat fuck. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Frank would say that. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we kind of want you to no. hear, say it as Frank. I mean, no. it's not asking. Come on, can you do this, Frank? Oh no, I didn't do a Frank Sinatra impression. Uh, little Frank Sinatra song parody. Okay, put the mic down right by the guitar. Yeah, I'll. I'll... But give me some guitar. There you it's go. Andrew Dice. Right, put it real close, Frank. or it won't pick up. You daffy bastard. That'll work. Yeah, it's got to. You sure that'll work? It's got to be real close. No, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Totally serious. I'll give him some volume over here, man. Okay. All right, whatever you guys That's want. Right. It's Anthony and his brother Joe, little Frank Sinatra parody. The dude might be dying. Poor guy. Start digging the dirt. Start grieving today. They're pulling a sheet over my face. The shoehorn. The <laughs> a little shoehorn. Yeah. I wasn't past a shoehorn or two back then. I got to let you know. Shoehorn, you should have a blacksmith helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh. How old are we? Frank Sinatra was still alive? Still alive. Still alive. He just wrote New York, New York. <laughs> For my face, the morgue, the morgue. The morgue. This little cold room. My skin's turning gray. I've got a tag around my toe. The morgue, the morgue. Now soon they'll put me in a hole that's six feet deep. My blue eyes shut very tight in eternal sleep. I have passed away wearing my toupee. Put me where Dean and Sammy was, the morgue, the morgue. My singing is through, and my lips are blue. <laughs> I've got a death certificate, the morgue, the morgue, and uh, please pardon me, cause there am embalming me, old blue eyes in the morgue. The more, the more. Thank you.
Thank you. <laughs> Anthony and Joe, man. Very good. I, I got to be honest. I wasn't douche chilling out. That was a pretty good fucking parody. It's not that bad. That was a pretty good fucking parody, my friends. I'm, well well sung. I'm with well you. Well written. I'm with you. It's not it bad. stands up today. Yep. So go fuck all of yous. I'm with you. Yeah. Still hate you, but I'm with nah. you here. It was, I'm, it was, I'm, uh, I'm kidding. I'm pitching a little harder than I should. <laughs> considering that you <laughs> just you wing that, that you, was very good. Jesus. You can't. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't that bad. That's what I did back then, okay? Got me my job, okay? I learned it from you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Send this bit to the morgue. The morgue. <laughs> that was the sun party. Was good. That was funny. Oh, shit. Uh, Katie uh, Rocks from Texas. That's I'll not, kick her where the sun don't shine. That's not that bad. All righty, Rock. Uh, burn good the job. rest of that tape, will you? Good job. It's. It, you know what sucks <laughs> about hearing that stuff? You have no idea what's happening next. I, I know no that's what it is. Of doing that, you're like so. I don't remember that. It's the whatsoever. anticipation of the horror that could be right around the corner. Yeah. Yee. By the way, what happened? Does anybody notice that uh, Iraq really has a body like Babe Ruth now? <laughs> <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> Babe Ruth. He just gave up. He said, fuck it. Anytime he walks around, it's in fast motion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how Iraq walks. All he does, he doesn't even move his legs. He tips forward, and the weight just propels him. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and he has to walk until he hits a wall. <laughs> now what? Uh, I don't know. I'm still recouping. That's what I'm thinking. Wow. I love another clip. Oh, that is. That's it, really. Really? That's all we got. God, that is something. Oh, he's got more, though. Oh, he's got another more. Day. Yeah. Another, another day. Another bitch. day. Can't. Got to, like, break that out, like, just in uh, small doses. All right. Uh, the Oprah thing. 55 years old today. This is a good clip that's been sitting around. So in honor of Oprah turning 55, she had a weird moment on her show with Kate Winslet and her breasts. One of the things I loved about this thing, obviously, they're very sexually explicit, but I love the fact that you have real breasts. Thank you so much. I love that you have real breasts. <laughs> Because in all the breast scenes, your breasts do what real breasts do. I mean, that kind of thing? No, no, no. End up in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got nice, natural breasts. Oprah? Yeah. It gets worse. Listen to this. Do what real breasts do. I mean, that kind of thing? No, no, no. But, and this kind of thing? No, no, no. But, you know, when you're... There's a wonderful thing, you know, if you're a woman, you're lying on your back. She, Oprah sets this up with, there's a wonderful thing if you're a woman, and listen to how wonderful she thinks this next... Well, I can see where she's going, and, and this Ugh. is sounds like somebody that really enjoys there's, looking at this. And Yeah, there's nothing wonderful about what she's about to say. No, no, but, you know, when you There's a wonderful thing, you know, if you're a woman, you're lying on your back, you're, your breasts, they go to the same parts. Face the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Why is that a wonderful thing? Oh, when they hit under your armpits? Or they just hit the bed on the side? <laughs> they hit the bed. I know why, actually. Because a lot of times the woman will use her fat tits to steal a bratwurst. <laughs> and when they part, you all of a sudden have a German delicious snack in between her big sweaty tits. <laughs> That's the old fat woman's version of the fucking fruit basket. <laughs> yeah. She puts it under her armpits and her nipples are sticking out her back. <laughs> who, who doesn't love when a woman takes her bra off and her tits open to find, like, say, a good nine-inch hunk of liverwurst? <laughs> you can just fucking peel it off her fucking sweaty oh. chest breastplate. <laughs> what is that thing on TV? What is that fucking Whoa. person? That is, I, I believe, a homosexual. It looks, it, look, it looks like fucking, uh, wow, that is bad. That is bad. Fuck you see God. the video of the U-Haul lady? It's it's a visual, but uh, definitely it's make fantastic. sure you get a peek. Because when the chase is finally over, she does the run for freedom. The running chase is hysterical. The, the cop is on her. Like, where are you going? Like, like fucking. You can't run, she, outrun, like, helicopters and. Helicopters. Cops. That one cop behind her caught up with her so fucking fast. It's like when the kicker picks up the ball and decides he's got to run with it. Right, right. <laughs> That's what it looked like. And he doesn't know where to run. And, and it's fucking all awkward. Everyone's faster than him. Yeah. <laughs> your your breasts they go to the same parts. Face the same thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you look at women with not real breasts, their breasts are sticking straight up. That's how you know. Yes, indeed. God bless your real breasts. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> 
Oprah uh, knows a lot about breasts. Yeah. On a bed. She loves them. So, I gotta pee. Gotta pee? Yeah. All right, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. Looks like Prince in a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. That, um, didn't, that didn't go as planned. I'll be honest. I don't feel like starting anything new. I think we gave the people a good show today. I couldn't agree more. So why don't we play Anthony's... I could agree more. What, my uh, Frank Sinatra song parody no. again? It's fucking gold, Jerry. It's gold, Jerry. I say you redo it. I say no. no. <laughs> why don't we play your favorite uh, Leonard Skinner song? Saturday Night Special. Ah, we'll talk yes. A bit. And we'll get out of here. This Leonard Skinner song... Uh, dedicated to the late, great uh, Billy Powell, 56, yeah. died. And uh, also brought to you by DirecTV. <laughs> Call 888-961-DIRECTV. Yes. I'm 57 years young. I'll look old Paul. I'll be You're a creep. 58 in March. You should talk to Christian Jim and get your life in order. Yeah, no kidding. Huh? <laughs> I don't like him. He's always trying to convert uh, me. Convoit you? Whose name? <laughs> His name. You huh? should just know who it is. No. I, ooh. Good one. A good one. All right, let's get out of here with Leonard Skinner. Let's move it. Um, Ant's favorite Skinner song, right? Is this yeah, your like favorite? This one. Yeah, this one's good. It's better than. Gun, so. Better than Give Me Back My Bullet? Kind of like him equally, but we just heard that one, so yeah. All right. It's a good one. It's a little more obscure. You hear the same friggin' ones all the over time. Over and so. over again. All right. Ron and Fez, noon to three. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.